doors. Door deficiencies have always been the most frequently cited defects, but never the highest scoring, at least in the units. It's true that an exterior door defect on a single building property could run nearly 10 points, but in the units, our door defects ran typically a quarter of a point to a half of a point under UPCS, assuming a 100 unit property. Under Inspire, exterior door defects become all but non-existent. There's only one door defect that can be cited for outside, and this has a scoring value of about two-tenths of a point on a 100-unit property, regardless of the number of buildings present. So the first big change to doors under Inspire is that all of the very high-scoring door defects possible under exterior and common areas have a greatly reduced impact. All but one type of door defect will be worth six tenths of a point or less when we have a 25 unit sample. Beyond that, the category of doors has been completely reorganized. Under UPCS, there was one inspectable item called door or doors. That item had six possible deficiency names. These were damage frame threshold lintels trim, damaged hardware locks, damaged surface, damaged missing screen door, storm door, security door, deteriorated missing seals, and missing door. Every type of door was subject to the same list of possible defects. And in most cases, the level of severity that was cited was dependent on the type of door. UPCS generally recognized these types of doors, entry exit door, bathroom door, fire door, which could mean either fire rated or that it, or that it was an emergency fire exit. Defects impacting these kinds of doors were almost always level three. Another type of door would be a closet door. Closet door defects were nearly always rated level one, maybe level two. And then there was every other kind of door, which would be, you know, like bedroom doors or anything that's not one of the above. A defect impacting a door that didn't fit into one of the prior categories was usually, but not always, rated level two. Inspire flips this model completely on its head. We now have four different inspectable items, door entry, door fire labeled, door general, and garage door. Entry doors, of course, are doors that permit entry into a unit from the inside or from the outside, or that permit entry to the inside from the outside. The longer definition for entry doors gives us examples of door components and materials, but the most important note tells us to check for fire readings labels. An entry door that has a fire label is evaluated under door fire labeled rather than under door entry. Let's rephrase that just to make sure we're clear on this. A door is evaluated under door entry only when it does not have a fire rating label. All fire labeled doors are evaluated according to the door fire labeled standards, regardless of their function, regardless of their location. So without exception, all doors that have fire ratings labels are evaluated under door fire labeled. And with only one exception, any other type of door that's neither an entry nor a fire labeled door is evaluated as door general. The one odd exception is a garage door. Under UPCS, there was no separate inspectable item for garage doors. They were simply evaluated as any other door. Inspire now separates garage doors and assigns them a lower scoring value than regular doors. So let's now review the Inspire definitions for each of these four inspectable items, starting with door entry. An entry door is a door that provides a means of access to the unit from the inside or outside, or that provides a means of access to the inside from the outside. Common components, door frame, for example, the jam, header, sill, 
threshold, door stop, the seal, the sweep, weather stripping, side lights, a transom, door slab, including parts like a top rail, a bottom rail, a lock rail, a hinge style, a shutting style, panels, middle panel, and mutton. Door hardware can include hinges, spring-loaded hinges, track, doorknob, door handle, latch, strike or latch plate, or keeper, pneumatic closer, door lock, whether it be a single cylinder or double cylinder, deadbolt, cylindrical lock, mortise lock, rim lock, etc. And door security devices, including chain locks, barrel bolts, swing guards, sliding patio door overhead bolt, foot bolt, security bar, bus bar. For more information, look at the edges of the entry door and the jam or frame for a fire label. If a fire rating label is present, then the door does not get evaluated under entry door. It gets evaluated under door fire labeled standard. Looking at our short version definitions and our scoring data, there are 10 possible deficiencies. Keep in mind here that U stands for unit, I for inside, O for outside. You'll notice that the O column outside is empty except for dashes until we get all the way down to door general. There's nothing within door entry for outside. So all door entry defects either go on the unit or on the inside. Most of our entry door deficiencies are in yellow, which means they are moderate deficiencies with a scoring value of 0.22 in the unit, 0.2 in the inside. Those have a correction time frame of 30 days. A few of our entry door deficiencies are in pink, so those are called severe deficiencies. Those have a correction time frame of 24 hours and they are worth 0.59 in our units, 0.54 inside. And then finally we get down to D10, which is a low level of severity worth 0.1 in the unit, 0.09, call it a tenth of a point for the inside. So D1, deficiency one, an entry door will not open. That's a moderate deficiency. D2, entry door will not close. That is a severe deficiency. D3, a self-closing mechanism is damaged, missing, or inoperable. That is a moderate deficiency. D4, entry door cannot be secured or can, cannot be locked. Um, that is a severe deficiency. D5, a hole, split, or crack penetrates completely through an entry door moderate deficiency. D6, an entry door is missing. That is severe for 0.59. D7, deficiency 7. Entry door surface is delaminated or separated, moderate. D8, the entry door frame threshold or trim is damaged or missing, 0 0.22, 0.2, moderate deficiencies. D9, the seal, gasket, or stripping, like weather stripping, is damaged, inoperable, or missing. Another moderate deficiency. Deficiency 10, there's a component damaged, inoperable, or missing, but there's no limit of the function of the door. So the door still operates, but there's something missing or inoperable. That is a low, low severity deficiency at 0.1 or 0 0.09 for the inside. So let's look at the longer definition for door fire labeled. Uh, this reminds us that a door fire labeled refers to doors that have a fire rating or a fire resistance rating. In other words, they're rated for a time within which the materials or assemblies are expected to stand up to a fire. Like a 30 minute fire rating on a door means it'll, it'll hold back a fire from penetrating through the door for 30 minutes. Common materials would be metal, wood, glass, composite. Uh, common components would be the door, the frame, the fire, or smoke seals, gaskets, weather stripping, hinges, handles, latching mechanism. This is all pretty much the same as under entry doors. There is a note that says for, for, for more information, 
if a trash chute has a fire labeled door, then it should be evaluated under the trash chute standard. So we're not talking about the door to the trash room. We're talking about the trash chute itself. The little square door that's not big enough for most of us to fit through, that should have a fire rating. There's also a note that says if a non-sampled unit's entry door that is known to be fire labeled is observed to have one of the deficiencies in this standard, then we're going to evaluate that deficiency as part of the inside area. So under UPCS, we never inspected a door that didn't belong in the sample, didn't belong to a sample unit. Under INSPIRE, we will now cite deficiencies if we notice fire labeled door deficiencies on units that are not part of the sample. We will record those under INSIDE. Looking at our shorter version definitions and scoring data, there are seven possible deficiencies. Almost all of these are severe deficiencies at 0.59 in the unit, 0.54 inside, until we get down to our last two deficiencies. So deficiency one is a fire labeled door does not open. Like most of our fire labeled deficiencies, this is a severe deficiency. It requires remediation or correction in 24 hours, 0.59 in the unit, 0.54 inside. D2, deficiency two, a fire labeled door does not close. It does not latch or the self-closing hardware is missing or inoperable. D3, the door assembly has a hole or damage so that the integrity is compromised. Now you notice it says door assembly, not just the door. So that would include the door frame. D4, fire labeled seal or gasket is damaged or missing. D5, an object may prevent closing and latching or self-closing and latching. This is a new one, which sort of stumped me when I first saw it. They're actually saying now, believe it or not, that you cannot have a doorstop like a, a wooden wedge or a kick down type doorstop on or near a fire door. And this includes like you've got maybe a heavy bucket of, of junk that sits right next to a door in a mechanical area and you use that bucket of junk to hold the door open. They're serious here. Let's say you've got common areas in a building where you've got kick down closers on self-closing fire labeled doors. That is now a deficiency. Just the fact that you have those kick down closers installed on those doors. D5, an object may prevent closing and latching or self-closing and latching. D6, fire labeled door cannot be secured or locked. D7, a fire labeled door is missing. So again, all but one of these under units is worth 0.59. Our final deficiency there, D7, fire labeled door is missing. That is considered life-threatening. It's worth 2.4 in the unit, 2.18 inside. D6 fire labeled door cannot be secured or locked. That was a moderate severity under inside for 0.2 points. Again, that's on a property with a sample size of 25. Which brings us to door general. A general door is a panel that provides an opening in a building or a room and provides separation between two areas and in other words closes an opening. Name variants include sliding door, entrance, entry, exit, door slab. Notes here are pretty much the same as our other doors. Common materials, wood, steel, fiberglass, vinyl, etc. Common components. It mentions that a general door is a door that goes into a utility room, storage room, or a room that contains washers and dryers. Could include closet doors, pantries, storage rooms. It could include exterior doors that go from the outside to the inside for a small common area, like a storage area or a utility room or mechanical room. For more information, privacy within a bathroom should be evaluated under toilet standard or bathtub standard, respectively. In other words, if you have a toilet and or bathroom that can't be used in private because there's no door, that is a 
a separate thing under toilets and under bathtubs, not under doors. Looking at our short version definitions and scoring data, there are four possible deficiencies. The first one has a moderate level of severity at 0.22 in the units, 0.2 inside, and that is D1. A passage door does not open. D2, passage door has a component damaged, inoperable, or missing so that the door doesn't function. That is a low severity deficiency at 0.1 in the unit, 0 0.09, call it 0.1 on the inside. D3, a closet door is damaged, inoperable, or missing a component. That is a unit deficiency only. That is a low level of severity at 0.1. And then finally, we have D4, which can only be cited for the outside. And that's when an exterior door component is damaged, inoperable, or missing. But this can't be an entry door, and it can't be a fire labeled door. So this is a door that doesn't even have a fire rating that goes into some kind of a minor area like a storage closet, something like that. And that pretty much wraps up all of our regular doors except for garage doors. A garage door is a large door on a garage that either opens manually or by an electric motor. Garage doors are frequently, I should say typically, large enough to accommodate automobiles or other vehicles. Small garage doors may be constructed as a single panel that tilts up and back across the garage ceiling. Common components include a primary door, a track, a door balance, springs, motor, safety stop, hinges, weather seal, opening controls, lighting, and for more information, garage walls will be evaluated under the wall covering and finish standard, interior and wall covering finish, exterior standards, respectively. Deficiency 1, a garage door has a hole of any size that penetrates to the interior. And for purposes of this deficiency, holes may include missing or broken panels or windows. That means that there's evidence of prior installation, but it's now not present or incomplete. D2, a garage door does not open, close, or remain closed. Deficiency, the door will not open and remain closed. Door will not close and remain closed. So that wraps it up for doors. Please feel free to leave questions and comments down below. If this has been helpful, please like the video. And if you haven't done so, consider subscribing. This is Michael Gant for React Guru and the Inspection Group. Thanks for viewing.